uh, actually this is hybrid microidium process dt110 is made by micro tools singapore this machine is capable of performing seven different operations we can do uh, microidium microidium drilling microidium milling then we can do micro wire idium also we can do hybrid idium process such as wire electro discharge grinding and block electro discharge grinding in addition to that we can do several conventional operations such as micro turning operation and micro milling operations so this is the overview of this machine so this is machine is uh, capable of performing very wide range of micro machining operations this machine is uh, this button is used to turn on the machine then at the back panel of the machine there is a red knob we have to turn this knob clockwise direction to make the machine on when we put the red knob at the clock side to make the machine on then after 5 to 10 seconds the screen of the machine turns on so this is basically windows based uh, monitor available for this machine now right now controller of the machine is off off and to make the controller on we have to put start button we have to press the start button once so it will glow green now when we press the start button to make the machine controller on we have to double click on this shortcut of the controller of the machine this is dt110 version 2 now meanwhile the software uh, controller get on now the window is appeared whether you want to machine turn on or off you have to press yes then okay okay now this is the control panel of the machine okay now what are the other parts of the machine we have to understand teen now when you see at the uh, setup of this machine tool here we have the z axis of the machine on z axis either spindle is mounted or when we do wire idm operation the wire attachment is attached to the z axis this is the x axis and this is the y axis of the machine so these are the three axis of the machine z x and this is the y this is the downward is the z negative direction upward is the z positive direction this direction is x positive this direction is x negative towards the operator is the positive sorry negative y and away from the operator is the positive y now right now there is spindle is mounted on the z axis of the machine now in this spindle this is the collet so according to need of the user we can use different collets to mount the different tools on the z axis right now there is very small electrode is mounted to perform idm operations the diameter of this uh, electrode is 0.3 micrometer so according to ne uh, need of the user we can choose different diameter of the collets and accordingly we can put different diameter tools inside the collet now this is the spindle this is collet and this is the electrode this is the flushing nozzle flushing nozzle is required for the idm processes to provide the direct trick in machining zone this is the work piece fixture provided here so we can fix the work piece on this fixture this is the vibration device this is the unique device using which we can improve the edm process machinability performance 
this is the dielectric tank for the idiom operation in which dielectric get stored this is the relief tank in relief tank we put normally filter papers and the debris or the uh, molten metal get trapped in the filter paper and then thus we can clean the dielectric dielectric now goes down to the storage tank and a pump continuously supplies fresh dielectric again back from the nozzle this is the turning post this is the turning post on this turning post turning insert is mounted on the turning tool now this is the diamond insert turning tool this is used basically for the reducing diameter of the shafts or electrodes which we are going to use subsequently for the micro idiom operations for micro turning it is essential to visualize the operation and for visualization we need a microscope camera so this is the microscope camera we can see the micro turning operation using this camera now let us see the connections of the machine now this spindle cords are attached to the spindle connections provided here and one is the polarity function red but red this is for the polarity connection of the tool and this black wire is the polarity wire for the workpiece so this is negative and this is positive terminal now when we start the uh, control panel or software of the dt110 machine the initial main screen of the software looks like this so here we can have we have different sub menus available here so basically we have to go always in the handle to start the operation so handle button is here here we can see the machine actual machine coordinates these are the actual work coordinates here we get actual feed rates actual spindle speeds these are the display window where we can see current uh, coordinate system the motions then work coordinate system work plane system coolant on or off and spindle direction here we can control the speed of the spindle and feed rate in percentage this this button is for the making coolant that is dielectric on or off we can press it and dielectric turns on then we can press low spindle button to make spindle on right now spindle is on and currently here we can see the spindle speed is 100 rpm that is the least spindle speed available for the machine high spindle is not available for machine the maximum range of the uh, spind low spindle speed achievable is 2000 rpm now these are the two important buttons one is mpg mpg is not, nothing but manual pulse generator and jog is nothing but jog mode using mpg when we turn mpg on the green light will be uh, glow on the mpg button now to operate mpg this is the mpg device manual pulse generator device now on this device we have one red knob this is nothing but emergency stop these are the this is the selector switch for selecting x axis y axis or z axis and these are the micron movements right now this is 100 micron movement 10 micron movement and 1 micrometer movement then using x we can directly turn the x to the negative direction using y we can turn y in negative or positive direction similarly you selecting z we can bring spindle down or upward now let us do idiom meaning operation 
राइट नाउ द मशीन कॉर्डिनेट्स आर जीरो जीरो एंड वर्ड कॉर्डिनेट्स आर जीरो जीरो वी हैव टू ब्रिंग द इलेक्ट्रोड्स टूवर्ड्स दी वर्क पीस एंड देन सेट द वर्क ऑपसेट नाउ लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू डू दैट नाउ वी हैव टू ब्रिंग द इलेक्ट्रोड नियर दी वर्क पीस फॉर दैट आई एम जस्ट इंसर्टिंग सम कमांड दैट इज लीनियर इंटरपोलेशन आई हैव टू मूव x by 100, y by 80, and z by 40 minus 40. I am giving right now feed rate 500. Now you can see here that spindle is moving from its home position towards the command which I have given right now, which is g01, x minus 100, y minus 80, and z minus 40. now it has been reached there here you can see on the screen that my current position of the elect uh, spindle is minus 100 y minus 80 and z minus 40 so machine has achieved the given command now we have to do the setting we have to bring manually electrode very near, close to the work piece and for that i am using mpg i have used manual pulse generator button then i am using mpg to bring electrode very close to the work piece now right now you can see that my electrode is very close to the work piece and i am i want to perform edm milling operation so what i will do i will set the work offset x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 and z equal to 0 at this particular position and from this position i will move electrode in the y direction to cut a straight micro channel or micro cut on the work piece so this is what is my current setting now i have to make this position as work offset i have to set make the work coordinate as 0 0 0 here so what i will do i will go in the manual data interpolation where i can put the uh, command here so mdi g100 g101 is for setting work offsets x 0.0 y 0.0 and z 0.0 i will run this command and after running the command we can see that machine coordinates are these but work coordinates we have set here as x 0 y 0 and z 0 now before starting the edm operation we have to make sure that these contact probes of the spindle and work piece is mounted on the edm power button so negative terminal is given to the red terminal and work piece terminal is given to the black terminal so these are the uh, negative polarity setting for the edm now before the starting the operation i have to again give the command g01 y let us say i have to move y by 10 feed rate in edm we have to keep feed rates very low now before that <coughs> i will increase the spindle speed from 100 to 900 and for that i will be using command m03 s900 that is clockwise spindle and s is 900 rpm now right now spindle is rotating at high rpm and you can see here that spindle speed is 900 and then i have to give the y feed and feed rate should be very small g01 is linear interpolation y is 100 sorry 10 mm and feed is 0.3 mm per minute now to start the edm operation again before starting the edm operation we should make 
coolant pump on so i have made dielectric flow on now dielectric is on i have to make sure that it is flowing inside the cutting zone in the cutting zone so i have adjusted nozzle to make the slide side flushing flushing on now to start operation we have to make edm power we have to go to the edm power window and make the power on we have to set the uh, polarity so work piece positive polarity is fine capacitance value we have to choose from 1 to 6 so i will choose 5 capacitor and peak voltage we can choose from 80 to 130 so i will choose 100 and 10 then i will again go to the mdi unit mdi window where i have already given the command i have to start the command start now electrode will start moving in the y direction and soon there will be the spark occurring in between tool and the workpiece Okay, now I have stopped the operation in between. 
now i will go to the mpg and then i will pull the electrode up now this is the trial of what how we can do micro edm milling operation so this is the milling operation in milling we have to give x y and z 3 uh, feeds to the electrode to carry out the 3d profile machining now what is the difference between edm milling and drilling in drilling what we do we just give only depth of cut in the z direction to drill the micro holes that is the difference only now this is what is capable of micro edm process so micro edm we can do uh, micro edm drilling micro edm milling and when we use the without rotating electrodes that process is called as micro edm sinking operation so in sinking if we use cylindrical electrode definitely it is going to produce the micro holes only and instead if you want to provide a uh, produce 3d geometries we have to use a mirror shape electrode here which is going to engrave the same mirror cavity in the workpiece to uh, fabricate 3d geometry which is uh, same as the electrode shape now in some cases we have to reduce the diameter of the electrode for that what we can do we can take the electrode near to the turning operation here and then using the mic by seeing inside the optical uh, microscope microscopic camera we can do the micro turning operation and reduce the diameter of the electrode and again we can brought back that bring back electrode to the workpiece and do again the edm operations so that is the beauty of the this machine we can do on machine electrode fabrication and we can subsequently use in the edm process so we can do several kinds of operation of on this machine so uh, wire edm setup is not mounted right now here we can use again do micro edm uh, operation and wire edm grinding operation also that's it now to shut down the machine we have to close the door now we have to press the stop button and then turn this window off shut down now screen will go off and we have to come again to the back side of the machine we have to move this knob anti clockwise direction to turn off the machine and then again close the main switch to the off position